really frustrating when you invest money into something that decides to break on you. This just happened the other day and I did absolutely nothing to deserve this except for use the product. Now if you notice my quality of the sound isn't as great as it usually is it's because this thing right here is attached to this. Now I can't attach this to that without this. I don't like to spend money on things that I don't need to be buying. If it's expensive, this cost me 99 bucks. Most people would throw it away, but we're gonna fix this. All right, so here's the bigger difference, okay? And this is with exception to the other products that I use, like my other camera, or the other cameras that I use, and um, this is like my more premium shooting gear. But now, once I remove the mic, see, this is what it sounds like. Since this is a directional shotgun mic, so I tag you guys along today as we fix this microphone because we've got a lot to do today. This vlog will probably be based around me trying to fix this. Oh, you know, just watching some anime. What the? Hi. <laughs> Liam. Hi, Liam. So, Christian and I were just watching some anime. What anime do you guys like? I'm gonna cook some pizza pockets. <laughs> Very unnecessary. Can you guys tell the difference with the mic? Eventually. So right now I am getting an early jump in on today. I have to go get materials to fix my mic. It's a good thing that there is a hardware store nearby. It's about half a mile away. I didn't want to ride my boosted board because I need to get my daily cardio in. So ugly today. What is this doing here? I will be in New York starting from May 1 to May 10. And if you're in the New York area, I'll let you boy. We are here now. Since we're fixing plastic, we gotta be a little bit more careful with how we fix it. So we're just gonna look around first. I thought of using tape to try and mount it, but I highly doubt that tape is gonna hold that. Since I use it like all the time. Yay? Nay? So I thought of the idea of using a heat shrink, but we still have to mount it. That's the only problem is like it still needs to be mounted before we even use the heat shrink. I was thinking what if we just throw a hinge on it? So that whole thing cost me $22.27. So I either made a good investment or a bad investment. <laughs> Let's, we'll see here shortly. So something that I just realized uh, walking home just now is literally I have 12 more days in Los Angeles. So I fly back on the 16th, which should be crazy because I can't wait to be home. To be honest, I cannot wait to be back in Virginia Beach. Every time I hear uh, fire sirens, uh, I always think heart attack for some reason. back and return some stuff <sighs> and the fact that my screwdriver doesn't fit the screws oh, I gotta return the freaking thing that oh my gosh no it's so unmotivational right now six and a half hours late <laughs> All 
right, there we go. So I fixed my mic, like it, it works. This is what it sounds like without the mic. And then let's go ahead and put the mic on. There you go. Does it sound better? I hope it does, because like now it's, thank God I fixed this. So today, uh, not really much is going on. Uh, I was supposed to meet with uh, YouTube to do a couple things, but um, right now my schedule is just messed up. Just so much things going on these last two weeks and I'm just trying to figure out my timing, so. As much as I love to ride my boosted board around, I really do also like to live active. So right now, I've been craving pho and I'm gonna go get some pho. And there's a spot I wanna check out. It's right up the road. It's right near the hardware store I ran to earlier. Hope you guys are liking the, the microphone quality better, by the way. I'll miss you. As of right now, we are just basically counting down the days in Los Angeles. We've got 12 days. I think I mentioned this earlier, but I can't wait to be home. If you remove one end, it says Boner Ave. What are you, Gen 5? So my fat ass decided to get some uh, arrow slush. Said the uh, boba wasn't ready yet, so I still kind of want something fruity. Shrimp and chicken pho, and also some vegetables. Vegetable delight. He said there was some rice with it. I said no to the rice. So I just need it more for the fiber intake. Now, although they didn't have any boba down here, I really do like how uh, taro slushy taste. Now, when I eat pho, I like to prepare my stuff. Take off all the leaves, ready to eat it so when it comes. I don't. I never put jalapeno in my pho. If I had known this place existed way sooner, I'd be here a lot more often. Here we got some shrimp and chicken pho. This is what I like to do. I like to take all of my vegetables right here, throw it into there. There we go. Throw some of this into here. Put the lime, squeeze the lime. Some hoisin sauce right here. I like to put it inside the soup. Can't forget sriracha. In the comment section below, let me know how you guys uh, eat your pho. Or this is how I mix my uh, sriracha sauce on it. I don't like to mix it with a soup, I like to just put it on top. Fresher, spicy taste. Anyone else know what that clown is right there? All right, so I just got home. I am gonna take care of some editing. I've got a, a couple other things I gotta take care of. See you guys in a bit. Alright guys, thank you very much for tuning into this video. Nothing really special. I wanted to vlog that day. Um, I'm very tired. Got about a week left here in California. Pretty psyched to be going back home to be honest. And a lot of new things coming hopefully. Hopefully. But uh, besides that, y'all take care. I'll see you guys in, this ne in the next video. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up. Also, if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to leave me a comment. I like to talk to you guys. Anyways, y'all take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.